Davin is not going to come on comms. He refuses. He has nothing to say to us. We are not worth his time. Chat, you are not worth his time. <laughs> Alright. This matchup sucks. Like, objectively it's very good for Falco, but it sucks. Uh, all matchups involving a Peach are shit. They are miserable. Fuck Peach. I hate this character so much. Go Kai! Caleb! Caleb! Caleb won't get on comms either. This is such bottom behavior. Oh, Davin's motioning like he might get on comms. There's no viewers, man. Just come and sit with me. I'll come and join and be your friend. That's How right. are you going? I'm, I'm alright. I'm having fun. So what did you say about this matchup? It sucks. For it sucks who? so bad. I think it's objectively good for Falco, but it sucks. Oh, is it actually good for Falco? I, I, I don't understand how Peach can, like, win this, but... It looks so hard for Falco. But like, you got to, like, challenge Peach's float. But and sometimes he just falls down and hits you. Are you a Dragon Ball fan? Um, yes. Because Falco got... Okay. All the Dragon Ball. Oh, really? That's quite impressive. Yeah. Very smart, though. Well, it's not, it's not very long. It's only 26 novels. Oh, okay. Compared to One Piece's 100. So, like, it's not very long compared to the longest one. Mm. Uh, yeah, I just feel like Falco got that teleportation, that instant transmis uh, instant transmission right away from anything. That's true, but Peach is also a brick wall, so Falco yeah. just teleports into a wall and just dies sometimes. Well, he teleports to the top plat and then laughs. Yeah, it's top plat. I don't know. I'm just like that's true. The wall can't really get up there. I feel like Peach doesn't have a go under laser option. Yeah, I think so I'm just biased because I've seen McLeod play Peach, yeah. and it looks very tough. Oh, no, no, no. I think this matchup is tremendously difficult technically for Falco. I just think it's like objectively good. If you're I really think that's, good. Um, Maybe I'm crazy. That's I'm, I'm Falco in general, I'm right? Sure. If you play Falco perfectly, you can win any matchup, maybe even more. But the technical ceiling is so high to get there. The only we'll one that doesn't feel like here. he like outright wins is Fox, in my opinion. But I don't that's true. Fox actually has it easier, I think. Yeah. But, but Fox has to engage so with knows. characters. Kath in the lead right now, though. Clean dash attack into the air. She does Peach things, and it sucks. But also, Kath frequently doesn't do Peach things when it comes to edge guarding, and so then you're allowed to play the game. I think that was a really good um, angle by Kai. Just like snuck underneath the back air. Maybe if there was a lower back air, like a sub float. But it's like, it. Kath was in a spot where she was like hard covering ledge option, or just above ledge option, and then didn't cover the one that goes Absolutely. through ledge. You can definitely like cover above ledge, like slightly above ledge and ledge at the same time. But it's like, it's like if you're gonna not cover high, then you better be covering. <laughs> The low. Something smells like this chips. room smells like Cheetos. Yeah, flaming hot Cheetos in the evac room. Oh, it's still called evac here. That's nice. Oh. Isn't it called something else? It's now? Orvka. Orvka. I had my first flaming hot Cheeto. My first Cheeto ever, actually, on my way to uh, to Melbourne for Smash on Scott too. And like, I got there. Yeah, but not. You went in the car with me. Oh, that's right. Uh, I I almost spat it out. It was revolting. Really? Isn't yeah. it just? No, savory flavored. It just morsel. covers your mouth and it's disgusting. Ah, uh, yeah. It's very unpleasant. That's the meme about it, right? It like covers your mouth, covers your fingers, yeah. leaves you in a cheesy mess. Not, not a fan. I can't believe you hate cheese like that. Anyway. Oh, I love cheese. Oh my god. Do not, do not lump me in with cheese haters like Musket. Anyway, Catherine turning it around this time. Uh, how do we make the lead right now? <laughs> There we go. Oh, good job. Oh, uh, this is not Davox and Caleb. Also, you, you did win 3-0, not 2-0. That's right. Uh, okay. Kai trying to fight his way back in center, finds it with a down air into back air. Peach off stage floating now. How can she get back? She just floats back down to the stage. It's a bit of a kerfuffle at the moment here. And we have a... Um, oh, hey, sorry. pause. <laughs> This is a tournament. <laughs> all good, all good. Resuming now, Catherine floating up high, gets clipped by the back air, caught floating too close to the stage, coming back. But Kaiser is at 105%. It, any dash attack, any nair, could lead to the bird being off stage and dying. Or a down smash. Alright, Walt. Jesus. Who's Walt? 
So, the esports commentator. Turn like, down for Walt. Like Ludwig? Yeah, I like Ludwig. Uh, say a name that everyone can recognize. Uh, Alright, oh, Ludwig. Excellent down smash. When Peach attacks someone's shield, it's so scary all the time. Yes, it's really annoying. Because you never know if she's going to grab, if she's going to well, just down, down smash. down smash is just yeah. a, like, a really good mix-up before anything else happens. It just right. pretty much covers everything. And if you get a low enough uh, aerial as well, you can cover the roll and buff it all out. Yeah. That does it all the time. It's really annoying. It's so hard. I found the best way to do it is actually to, to play against it is actually just not to shield at all. Right. Because Peach is slow enough that you can move around her and not be forced into shielding. Right. Because once you're shielding, it's... I think it's a Peach advantage state. Sure. Oh, absolutely. But, like, the, the recommendation from McLeod in that spot is if you're, if you're eating it on shield, mm. uh, buff a roll uh, an SDI up. So buff a roll an SDI up. So if you get hit by the down smash, you, like, you try an SDI up and not get hit by multiple hits, and then you... Yeah. Uh, I find when I, when I try to buff a roll out, he actually catches me with, like, an instant jab or up air or something like that. I'm actually not right. too sure. I need to watch the VODs back. But he can he can definitely clip. Okay, yeah, yeah. And it's about what you do after getting clipped. Kai off stage right now though. Goes high, gets uh, gets back safely. That's but the spot you have to before, right? Where like she covered low and didn't cover high and last time just didn't cover like going to ledge. Yeah. It's like if you're gonna be there, you have to be there. But at least um ledge was covered this time around. It was just the, the high option and couldn't commit to a to a high recovery where in that situation because she was already floating like slightly above ledge. Yeah, would have taken too long to double jump yeah. up there. I remember uh, I think it was Croc asked Cody if Cody thought Peach had like the best edge guards in the game. And Cody laughed. There's like no way. She just can't yeah. cover vertical options too well. You like have to read you have your, to read your like start position. Height. Yeah, like, exactly. Your like... story though, we'll be able to see some. Uh, Shine kills off the top by the Falco. Excellent wave dash down smash. It's a classic. It works all the time. It's also really annoying. I mean, this is not a Fox game, but on the lip there, you shine oh, and there? then... Uh, oh, gets the shine and kills at, at 74. That's pretty early. The next thing I've discovered about Falco with Peach is he doesn't have the luxury of um, really shielding the aerial at all because his shield is tiny, so he just kind of goes into like a really shit mix-up, like even... Well, he gets clipped all the time. Yeah, by everything, yeah. yeah like, at least Fox and Sheik get to play, like, you have to down smash me to, to break the deal. Oh, absolutely. Um, oh, maybe, um... Or unorthodox strats by Kai. The option might to just to be to uh, light shield as well. Because then you get pushed away right, by the yeah. down smash if you get to on shield. But it's hard to train that muscle memory to, to remember to yes. light shield all the time. He covers um, ledge again. Maybe next time should try covering Kai. Especially on your shoes, where he has like better high options. But maybe committing to the um, to the float height too early during the edge guard, I think. Because once you're stuck floating there, yeah, yeah, and Falco's yeah, yeah. charging up, you can react as the Falco and choose where to go. Yes. Oh, I always find shine myself shine. No, in that spot. Why is it looking for a four stock here? Where you like no one get it, but still able to get a JV four. Both by the down smash. Excellent ledge dash dash jump there. Very clean. It kind of get grabbed off it, but also the ball off's fault. He's uh, just trying to find clean hit on each other. I think he might have had a drop down option there. But mm. still going. Waits out the down smash this time. Really smart by Kaiser. He knows that's that's what the Peach is looking for, especially at this high percent. It's the best way to get a reversal and cleans Ooh, up the stock. That was very nice. Easily. Like the weak hit going way out there. One old to. 1-0 now. That's, that's correct. And maybe Dreamland or FD? FD it is. Yeah, you know, has become a... Uh, obviously this stage... Uh, page. Yeah, obviously this stage is much harder for Falco than Yoshi's story. You can't get shine kills off the top. And Peach gets the infamous chain grab. One of the easier ones in the game, I'd <sighs> say. Chain grab maybe not the so finish. Bad. Yeah, but it doesn't have a finish, right? Yeah. You kind of got to know. I remember McLeod talking about Triff always ends it with the after off stage. Because yep. Triff's just going to hit the edge guard, so it's like. Yeah. Well, he's he's going to trust himself to hit the edge guard. That's why all the spaces, they just um, DI back to center stage yeah. and they get yeah. chain grabbed, and then. But then you do have to play the uh, the upper kind of DI mix up there. Absolutely. Just do a mix up at the end. But it's um, it's more execution required on the Pikachu's end. It's oh not like Pikachu's God. chain grab where he just gets the up smash. That's true. That's the. Gets the edge guard though, up four stocks to two on this peach. 
clean advantage in this game. Only seven minutes left on the clock. I don't think I've seen Kath look this good recently. They're both looking really clean right now. Kath just playing that um that really stable style of Peach. Looking to trade, getting clean hits with um. And to never commit smash. Uh, willfully. Mm. Always after much slow consideration. Yep. They're just just eating the Falco and oh him to go God. in. Making him fall short with his aerial so she can oh. clip him with um. Kai time that for or after or the, the down air toes yep. and Kath still covers it. That's very nice. Oh no, Kai off stage! Did you clean it we up? did just see a potential four stock out of Kai, and now, uh... Now I'm like surprised she's not playing that one out. Oh my god, I get up attack at 169. It's really close to cleaning that one up. It's one more back here, maybe a drop down. Oh no, oh, no. Oh. Oh. Far out enough, but if she'd been facing anyway. the other way, this would have set them off. Um, ooh. Back here gets it. I would be AC now, a little like. So please, please let please. me get a hit. Please. Uh. Look, I'll be very impressed if he manages to. It's a turn if though. Oh That's my one. god, the defense! That was a beautiful ops attack into into a trade. into a wall attack as well. That was um, that was difficult for Kaiser to get get back into. If it was any other character, like a fox, yeah. I think maybe, but <laughs> like, Peach is... Um, How do you beat Peach without trading? Peach is the wall. Yeah. Ready. Yeah. I'm really cognizant of the um, yeah. down smashing platform. I like, I like how he... Once. I like seeing the quick adaptations from players. It shows they're really thinking about the game. <laughs> Because you should only be getting hit by something like that once per, once or twice per set. That's the other... Uh, what is happening? I don't know. It sounds like there's um, like a fight with the middle bars or something happening. Yeah. That's like the Ice Climbers classic. You get one Blizzard Grab a set. And you got to make it count. To be honest, I have no idea how to keep Blizzard Grab. If somebody did that to me, I'd just keep getting hit by it. <laughs> Sorry, I've seen you play Mason. What you do is you sit on side plat. Yes. Don't engage the Ice Climbers. Unfortunately, that's also the best strategy against the Ice Climbers. If there's a way to um, to beat them without doing that, I do it. You know Tish described them as two docks? I just think that's so good. What's there to... yeah. <laughs> Don't think about it, they're just two docks. And they're both floaty, they're both um, annoying to play against. Oh. The Ice Climbers doubly so. They get more annoying when there's only one of them, because suddenly they can dash dance and they don't care yeah. what happens. And they just shield a lot and they like never do anything. Anyway, like it's, the, uh, <laughs> it's a different sort of pressure when it's just Sopo. Yeah, you're like really looking for the down smash of the Sopo. You don't want to be hit because you feel bad when you get hit by Sopo. Oh, you're like, awful. what am I doing? And then you eat like a tech chase read and you're like, oh, it's Sopo, man. Stop. Stop. Just die. That was really oh, that nice, was really like, nice laser. That um, drift in AC back air to shine to start this combo. And now he keeps it going, gets the advantage state and oh. cleans it up almost, almost. I thought he drifted and grabbed ledge there. Sorry, drift back and grabbed ledge there. But... Really good lasers there, keeping Catherine in place. She tried to jump over them, but one of the lasers caught her mid jump. He keeps her stuck on the ground, and that's how you want to play the matchup. And now Kaiser up three stops to one. Gets a clean shine, but no follow up there. Gets stuck in shine a little bit. Gets back to center stage. It's gonna be hard for Peach to get back in here now. Kaiko, one of the best characters in the game at controlling center. And Peach, not really the best at approaching, so let's see what, what happens. Peach already taking 92% to get back into it. Get back in advantage. I think also temperamentally, Kath is someone who is more confident with, with the lead than from behind. I think uh, so too. It's, um. I feel like when Kath does the like. She's really good ex yeah. at, uh, at using Peach's strengths. Yeah, just holding it advantage. for a long time. Just holding it. Auto cancel fairing to create a gigantic hitbox in front of you. She's like 2013 Alliance in Dota. Mm. Mm. Riding out that little edge. That's what you need to do. You gotta stack your camps and uh, pull when you can. 
That was the last Dota matter I understood. <laughs> Back when spit pushing was just being invented. Yeah. Ooh, a bit of a sticky situation on the platform, but both people reset. Back to controlling center. Kaiser gets center, Ooh. and Peach is stuck in the corner now. How is she going to make it out? One oh. dash attack. Gets out oh. clean. <laughs> <laughs> Into the forward tilt. That's, uh, that's one way to hold out the Falco. But it doesn't work for very long. Gets reversed off of it. And now Falco getting the edge guard situation. How does Peach make it back? Gets back hit, but doesn't die that. yet. Really good at that. Like, just making it a little ambiguous how far out he's going to drift when the Peach eats the hit. Yeah, and Peach is not easy to edge guard as well, yeah. though. I think Peach this is what happens. Did you see their set history, McLeod and Kai? No, I haven't. It was like 50 something sets last year. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, that, this is what happens when you play McLeod every week, like twice. <laughs> just, you just get good at edge guarding yeah. Peach. And every back air that Kaiser lands, that's an extra 14-15%. That's important. I mean, you're, you're drifting in closer to the uh, the Shine Nair kill, like Shine on Shield and Nair. Exactly. Because you're never going to peach, yeah. kill Peach straight away. It's just not... It's rarely going to happen. Then they have to play the... Oh, is he fucking lasering into a down tilt or lasering into a Shine this platform point is so safe for Falco. How does Peach get in? She gets clipped with a down air if she tries to run under. Kaiser Actually, she really like that really play well. there. Wow. Nice. Oh, excellent. Treating Peach like she's Falcon now. She's just like, this that was is just really good from Kaiser, just clean. Maybe the play there was to reset, wait for the platform to go down, but then you're eating lasers all the time, and yeah. it's not that good to be in a corner as Peach as well. Catherine getting the stock though. Oh, gets the edge guard situation, this could be good. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't jump I'm surprised as well. I feel like when Falco's low like that, down smash might cover most most Firefox angles. I also feel like Kath often just down smashes. <laughs> That's true. Gets the back air. Bit of a scuffle, but Peach gets the grab. And now we're resetting. This is very clean. Like Kath's gonna have to change something up because this like slower play is not gonna. It's not gonna bring you down this one stock deficit here. I think um, cleaning up the edge guards and punishes should be a big part of it. Oh, yeah. oh my oh god. Oh no! Just as I was saying. Sometimes you just have to kill the bird. Tip his wings. Because if you're surviving to as high a percent as the Falco is, then yeah. it becomes a hard matchup. Especially with the advantage of the Oh Falco my has. god. Did, Did not hold the giant. Player. Only down one stock. This could be cleaned up very quickly. I mean, I've seen McLeod win these. I've seen uh, McLeod a lot. get two stocks through two neutral openings. Yes. Not a head play McLeod. He is really good. Oh, she's really good. Very technically skilled as well. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't know what's going to happen. Hope she does well at Genesis. <laughs> Me too. You want to feel like you're losing to a top 10 player, not like a top 200 player. McLeod's like a top 50 player. That's what it's about being, right? You want to feel like you're losing someone really good. Yeah. 